Just uh, how does it feel? You know, we've had a pandemic in the middle. How does it feel to be back? It feels amazing. Last time I was here was 2019, and I'm looking around at all the familiar faces, new people I've met, and it's beautiful. I just, we love being here. London is like a second home to us. And you, uh, in the Leech, you've got Taylor and Jeremy back from Statistic Intentions. You kind of got the band back together, but this time with a new member. What was it like bringing uh, Graham Skipper into that dynamic? Yeah, you know, one of the most exciting things about working with Jeremy and Taylor again, as well as bringing Graham into the fold, is that Graham and Jeremy have such different backgrounds as actors. I mean, Graham comes from a very uh, sort of theatrical background, a very disciplined school, and Jeremy is very much a renegade. He's a writer, he's a director himself. You know, he's a master of improv. He's a master of improv in ways that never feel like he's making things up. Like they just sound like the words that should have come out of his mouth. So to see the two of them sort of go toe to toe, like Tom and Jerry, or Itchy and Scratchy, or something like that, it was it was amazing just to have these two different chemicals in the same pot together. And it's this great sort of pivotal scene that involves a game of never, never have I ever. You know, what was the uh, the intention behind that scene? What did you want to sort of get through there? Well, I think the main purpose of that scene, other than escalating the story to where it goes, is that, you know, a game like that, a drinking game, serves as exposition. It lets you know a lot about people without sitting down and being like, well, I used to do this, and then I was here and doing that. I mean, that's with a movie like this that you want it to have forward momentum, you never want it to stop to explain anything. So it worked technically great as a way to learn more about these people and sort of fill in gaps and make you ask more questions about who are they. And I do want to also just talk, talk through some of the, um, your your stylistic choices during that never ever everything. There's this, you know, the, the way that you um, you edit and you shoot, so the camera's sort of blurring in and out. It it almost places the viewer as a drunk amongst them. You know, what was uh, what was the thought process behind that? Well, you know, coming off of sadistic intentions, I with the camera, I really wanted to just grab the camera and hold it, put it in places and do things with it that you wouldn't be able to do if you were on a tripod or if you were locked onto, you know, a dolly track or something like that. And that's, you know, my first movie was very much that. So I, I'm always kind of wanting to do something different. And, you know, working with uh, my great cinematographer, Ramel Gensiana, who I had made a film with before. He was the gaffer on Blue Ruin. He comes from a very uh, verite school of just grab the camera and go. So so him and I had just a total blast with just putting the camera every which where we could. You know, we played with lens fracking, you know, taking the lens off and on to kind of bring it in focus, out of focus. You know, a lot of tricks that you know, David Lynch had used on Lost Highway. It's like every tool, every trick we could think of kind of got thrown into this melting pot the same way that everything that brought this movie together did. And what's, uh, what's next? What are you bringing to Fright Fest 2023? Gosh, i got to figure that out yet. Yeah, I know. Now that I've been here a couple times, it's like, shit, i got to make a movie that Fright Fest is going to like. Um, I don't have anything specific that I'm really focused on at the moment. You know, I'd love to make a revenge film. One of my favorite uh, sub-genres of movies are the early 70s of exploitation, soldier coming home from war and finding war at home and getting thrust into some sort of urban battle. It's a genre I've been kind of kicking around for a number of years. Uh, I've got a clip that I'm showing at the Duke Mitchell Film Party tonight that is from one of my favorite exploitation films. So, you know, putting that karma out into the air and hoping I can make that one happen sooner or later. Well, I wish you the best of luck and go and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you, it's always a pleasure.